Hi guys, this is Pam today. I'm back in another video, and today I'm gonna be reacting to the Jaguars waving slash releasing Leonard Fournette, their running back. Before we get into this video, the reason I'm not using face cam is it takes longer to edit, and I wanna get this up as quick as I can for you guys because it only happened five minutes ago at the time of filming, and let's get right into the video. So I think the reason they waived Leonard Fournette is because Leonard Fournette wanted a new contract extension, and they probably didn't wanna give it to them because the Jaguars as we've seen with the last two players so far, they don't want to pay their players. With Yakonik and Gakwe, which I'll leave a link to that video up in the corner, he, I think, should have got paid because he was only 25 and has played great in his career. So I think he deserved a really big contract. But the Jaguars didn't want to give it to him, so that's why he ends up getting traded. Under Fournette, with all of his injury history and all that, I don't know if you give him a huge contract right now. And he's a running back. Some backs are typically easier to replace. I kind of understand the Jaguars here not wanting to give up a lot of their cap space to sign a running back who might be injured and not even that good. But when he's healthy, I think he's a very good running back. It's just, can he stay healthy is a question. That's why I think it's a good move by them just releasing him. And the Jaguars, they could just try to maybe draft a running back next draft or try to sign some like guy that's not as good but can be a lot cheaper and maybe not as big of an injury risk. But we'll have to see what the Jaguars do with their running back position now since Leonard Fournette is now a free agent. Let me know down below who you think could sign him. Maybe I could see him going to the Bucks, possibly. The only reason I would say that is because Tom Brady wants probably more running backs. Because right now his best running back is LaShawn McCoy, which I made a video about that, which I'll leave a link up in the corner. But LaShawn McCoy is getting a little bit older, so I think they would probably want to put in Fournette there so McCoy could take a few less snaps. And that'd be a good one-two punch for the Tampa Bay Bucks. And keep in mind, they already got Brady, Gronk, Chris Goodwin, and Mike Evans. So they have a great offense, but that would just make it even better. But let me know down below where you think he'll go. And also go follow me on Instagram because I post stories, posts. I sometimes let you guys know about videos before they come up on the channel. And it's just more content of me. So if you want to see more of me, just go over there. And also subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, because today is the last day of the month, and we're trying to hit 200 subscribers by the end of today. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And we're six subscribers away from the goal of 200. And thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.